I'm Gigi Arnetta for Tyranny Watch. Well, you won't hear the mainstream media supporting the Second Amendment. In fact, they say that guns are bad. You may have heard about the NFL not allowing the Daniel Defense rifle commercial. So I've chosen the most effective tool for the job. Daniel Defense. The fact is, if you go out of our media stratosphere and tune in on Iceland, all the theories of gun control go out the window. On Monday, for the first time in the nation's history, the Iceland police fired a shot at a citizen during an operation. Most cops don't even carry guns. The homicide rate in Iceland in 2009 was one. The only officers who carry firearms are on a special force called the Viking Squad, and they're rarely used. And out of 325,000 people, 90,000 are registered gun owners. Crimes in Iceland don't usually involve guns. There's not a huge division in economic classes in Iceland. 97% of the people consider themselves upper middle class, lower middle class, or working class. So strife between them is nearly non-existent. The other thing you won't hear from our mainstream media is that people in Iceland demanded their country back. They took their country back from the government and they did it peacefully. After unscrupulous bankers bankrupted Iceland's banks in 2008, the citizens took the streets by the thousands, banging pots and pans in what is known as the Pots and Pans Revolution, which led to the arrest of the bankers and Icelandic citizens rejected any measures of taxation to bail the bankers out. The citizens demanded the government resign while an assembly is elected to rewrite a new constitution. 25 citizens with no political affiliation were chosen, and the Constitutional Assembly started in February of 2011. So why is our mainstream media keeping this story out of the news? Well, maybe it's because the thought of a pots and pans revolution in the United States and true justice for those who break the law is a very scary thing for a corrupt government. I'm Gigi Arnetta with Tyranny Watch on the InfoWars Nightly News.